technology has the promise to bring big benefits for companies, uh, including audit firms, uh, but it also brings risks. Uh, it brings risks to audit firms not only through the new technologies that they're using to improve their audit process, but also they need to think about the risks that their companies that they're auditing bring through new technologies in addition. Uh, we think it's going to be very important for firms to manage those risks carefully to make sure that the audit work they do is sufficient. The fourth industrial revolution is really accelerating the pace of change, as you can uh, imagine. And the impact for the uh, finance and audit function is going to be amazing. So today we are going to talk about, first of all, how do we need to understand the transformation of the business model of the environment that we are uh, looking at. Uh, second is, uh, linked with this transformation, we need to figure out what kind of risks are emerging. And also we need to see the, the other side of the coin, which is to consider how the uh, audit can benefit from these uh, new tools as well. Artificial intelligence is not future, it's not far away, it's happening now. And we should really try to deal with that and cope. don't be afraid of AI. It can help us a lot in our work, how to progress better, how to develop better our um, capacities and also to be more efficient, efficacy, uh, more competitive. Uh, so I know that we all feel um, fear from AI, but it is very important to somehow uh, think uh, all the time on the uh, one goal and the goal is that we should develop AI uh, in a way that it support and improve human lives and uh, professional capacities. Well, my main message is that the audit opinion has behavioral aspects related to it because it involves human judgment. Now, whenever there is judgment, there might be, you know, cognitive limitations. Now, in the setting of big data and analytics, this is an important thing because we don't really know what these cognitive limitations will be when auditors are confronted with big data. How can we solve this? Well, we can do research on this, and this is what, I, what my message is. Let's do research on this and develop appropriate tools such that audit quality can be improved. In a world that is rapidly changing and empowered growingly by artificial intelligence, there are three things that the profession has to focus on. One is design, diagnose, and decide. Well, design, because I think artificial intelligence is only doing what we humans ask us to do. Diagnose, well, we've all been there. Companies are managed by people, and very often it takes people to understand people to know what the real problem to solve is. And decide, well, artificial intelligence is very good at automating decision-making when it is rule-based, but at the end of the day, you need humans to make the ethical judgment, to take a forward look at what are the consequences of decisions and take into account the public interest. And that's what the profession is best placed to do. So I was talking about some of the developments in standard setting for the IAASB and uh, really just recognising that technology is an import, really important topic for them uh, and, and also that they can see the benefits that, uh, that the various technological tools and, and capabilities can bring to audit quality. And then just reflecting from a personal perspective on what we see day in, day out in the practice uh, and the opportunities that that will definitely bring to us. Naturally, uh, audit quality came up quite a lot today in terms of how artificial intelligence and emerging technologies can really improve uh, the level of quality in the audit service that's being provided to organisations. But what we're really trying to draw out is that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, a poorer answer for uh, an organisation. And actually, it goes very hand in hand with delivering more value to clients. And, and really seeing that shift is we, we see a lot of talk about the move from compliance to advisory for accounting firms that actually these technologies can really drive a, a change in the value delivered to a client and therefore the change in what they're looking for from their accounting firm. So driving that real shift to a more continuous service offering and a way that accounting firms can deliver a more advisory-like way of delivering compliance services.